Hello everybody. Thank you for joining us today for our hands-on demonstration. Today, Sangamesh will be walking us through the Teller Cash Management features in the Mifos X platform. As always, I start these with a little look to see where our user tools are, where our user manual is, some how-to articles, the things you need to know about the Mifos X platform. Again, today we're doing Teller, Teller Cash Management in this area of the admin. And you know, you can you really don't have to take a lot of notes as you're watching this video because all of our documentation is readily available there. If you have an answer or if you want to look up a certain topic, use our answer hub. It's very helpful. You simply type in your topic, your question, your what you want to know. The screen will populate with answers. If you still don't find what you need, simply ask a question. Someone in the community will get back to you in a really quick fashion. And without further ado, I would like to turn the control over to Sangamesh, where he will give us a lovely hands-on demonstration. Turning it over to you. Thanks so much, Sangamesh. I'm on the MIFOS login page. Let me log in as super user now. <coughs> Go to admin, then organization, um, then teller cash and management. We need to create teller first. Click on new teller, then provide the name of the teller. Uh, let's say Peter, then select the office, then provide the description as teller. You could provide the start date and, and the end date. So let me provide the end date as 14th itself, then activate the teller. Click on submit. Once the teller is created, you need to go back to the uh, tellers. So you could see the available teller. You need to uh, click on the teller, then it will take you to the new cashier for teller. You need to create new cashier for teller, then select the staff. Teller name is um, Peter. You could select the cashier as Christopher. In other two, um, select from the drop down you need to have created it in manage employees. So let me provide the notes or the description. Cashier from which date to which date. So from 14 to let's say uh, from to 29th or 31st end of the month. Then <clears throat> this is the cashier's page. You could allocate the cash that is from this date and provide the amount. Let's uh, take an example. The early mo the morning when the um, business operations starts up. You could allocate the cash as 10,000 and provide the name. He could say allocated 10,000 and click on OK. Financial activity account needed for this operation. OK, we need to have set financial activity uh, for teller cash and management. Go back to the accounting. Then go to the uh, accounts link to financial activity, define new mapping, then select uh, cash at tellers and management. So this needs to be defined. 
we'll go back to the accounting and define a uh, account for teller cashier quickly. <clears throat> the name that is as cash then submit now go back to the accounting accounts linked to financial activity then define new mapping select cash at tellers or cashiers select has cash then click on submit now once the financially financial activity is mapped you could go back to this uh, organization then teller cashier management then uh, view sorry tellers then select teller then you could see the cashiers uh, page then allocate cash and we we shall allocate cash as 10000 you could provide the name notes allocated 10,000 and allocate cash okay in just a moment you also need to have a uh, created main cash account or cash at vault in the financial activity once this is done go back to the system sorry organization then teller cashier management select cashier uh, teller then the cashier page will display then allocate cash again that is 10,000 then you could say allocated 10,000 and allocate cash so now the cash is allocated uh, oh. <clears throat> And at the end of the day, um, you could settle the cash by uh, clicking settle cash here. Once all the transaction or the leftover amount can be settled. Settling amount 10,000. Oops, sorry. then the notes then click on settle cash so you could see here it was allocated here and uh, it was settled at the end of the day if there was any transaction done in between this uh, account then it would have shown here cash in and cash out okay now let me pass it back to Dana thank you Dana Thanks so much for that. I always enjoy your presentations. Um, again, if you have questions or you want to look up a topic, refer to our answer hub. If you want to hack around on the system, you have an idea, you just kind of want to test something out, feel free to just bang around on our demo server. You won't hurt a thing in there and you can set up anything up any way you want and kind of test out your thoughts. If you have not signed up for your users list, please do so. This is where we, we will send announcements from MIFOS, but the best part is you can ask the global community their opinion on anything you're wanting to try, set up, any kind of information, you know, anything you really want to know, and our community gets back to you. It's great. We do have uh, Gitter IM, of course, our main web page and our general mailbox. So thank you very much, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.